Welcome back to my channel and this is my weekly basket and I have some really awesome products that I am um, I recently hauled that I want to share with you guys and do reviews and all that stuff so it's all in this week's basket and if you like to see what makeup I'm using this week please keep on watching. As usual I like to start with fees but the fees is a bit minimal yeah it's actually a bit minimal just because um, I do have foundations and primers and all that stuff in my product empties and that video I will try and link for you guys to check out because I'm doing a, a project where I'm trying to finish products by September 1st and I just had a variety from like fees into eyes into lips just to try to clear out my collection because I'm always hauling and I also plan to do another vlog sale because um, my boys got another project for me so with that being said um, face primer I'm using this hard candy Shea Envy this was gifted to me and I use I have foundations that are in my project pan or project empty sorry but in addition to that I try each week to just put in one and this is the liquid foundation from BH Cosmetics in sand I think I may be about somewhere here, which might be about halfway, I'm not totally sure. So that's there, and satin powder is all in that video. Contour, I pulled out my Clean Cover Casey Pick Press Powder. I can't remember the color of this because I did detach it from the back. So that's that. Um, cream blush, I've been enjoying using this, so I actually think I want to continue using it. Just because it's been working so great. And it's like a really bright fuchsia color. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It is super, super pigmented. <laughs> it's like I have to use a stipple brush with this and barely tap it. Look, I'm trying to blend out. And it is still super pigmented. So, yeah. Anywho, some pigmented blushes here. I didn't use anything else for blushes except these um, LA Girls 3D Blush Contour Palettes. I purchased um, a couple, so I thought, hey, I'm just going to use this alone in Weekly Basket. So we have this one, which is called Truly Love. And this, co this color here is also a blush. And then, even though it says contour, it actually says highlight, contour, and blush. But this has two blushes here, and that's a highlight. But a lot of the highlights kind of iffy. Then this one is called Love Me. And this palette actually has a crack on this blush. So I got to be super, super careful. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know where I dropped it. But again, I have two blushes here. And one highlighter that I'll more or less use to blend out. And then the last one here is Sugar Plum. Again, this contour can be used as a blush. And I have swat I did actually did swatches when I did my whole video, so you guys can check it out. And for highlight, because a lot of these highlights, including the one here, they are more or less like matte highlights. So I use them to blend out my blush. And um, I'm using this sun kiss again because I'm absolutely loving the glow that I am getting with it. So that is pretty much face. And I do have these two concealers that I purchased and they're going to be used on the eyes and spots. And that's the LA Color Cover Up Pro Concealer Stick. And I, the two colors I have are nude and porcelain. And I did do swatches. I am wearing nude under my eyes right now. So I am plan to do a review for you guys soon. So that's it for feet. Next we have eyes and I do have a primer and a base in my Project Empties. In addition to that, I'm just going to be using this Creamy Beige Color Tattoo. I have a review on these with swatches so you can check it out. And my eyeshadows for this week would be include these Malibu Glitz palettes that I recently hauled. I will be posting pictures on my blog of the two palettes. This one is number four and this one is number one. I have a collab coming with, with those palettes so stay tuned I did not get to use this palette I know it's like I got a Maybelline nudes palette and I didn't get to use it like really seriously Rowana but I will be using it this week and I plan maybe to do a get ready with me a friend is begging me to do a get ready with that so I've been considering it then I didn't get to use this clean color meow um smoky meow modern modern smoky eye quad and so I like usual, I keep showing you guys and hopefully I'll get to use it this week. The last palette I will be using is this color, um, what is it, color canvas 
from Profusion and this is what it looks like. I know they have quite a few, um, do have another one with more pinky colors but this is what I did use to create this look. Um, very simple and neutral and plan to do a review with swatches of this palette for you guys. So um, liners, I just have two that I pulled out and they're black because I do have also two like a brown and a champagne in my um, project plan this week. It's going to be really crazy at work. Um, so I just want very simple neutralized to do quick looks and I don't think I'll be doing any pop of color. So two black liners because a friend asked me to review this beauty treat. She recently purchased it. And then um, I have my Smashbox Limitless eyeliner because I need something that is going to be long lasting for like 15 hours and I plan to try out that. I have been using it on and off so I wanna, I have not really taken take note how well it works. Primer I have, um, is this clean color and I have a review on this that I need to upload for you guys to look out for it. So that's there and two mascaras, uh, my voluminous Miss Manga and the Butterfly Lash Out. I've also done reviews on this so it will be uploaded this week so look out for that. And then I have two from Malibu Glitz that I have to do research on and this one is already wearing out because I've used it so much. And this is the Stimulash Volumizing Mascara and this one is the Extreme Mascara. This has two steps and two sets of bristles so I want to do a review on both of those. And I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, you're taking so long with reviews and stuff. But I have actually personally decided this that I'm going to use products for as long as I can. And I'm, until I feel comfortable enough to do the reviews on it. So like um, some of the lip products you're going to see in this week's basket is quite a bit. But that's just because I... I have to throw them in back so I can use them and do the reviews. I do not like to have a weekly basket and then pop a review up. And it was from like me using the products two, three weeks ago because products do change over time, consistency changes, and I can give you that development with it. That's one and two. I want to see it at least when I give you reviews to be as in depth and thorough as possible. Sometimes I would do reviews and I could tell you what my initial take is. So that's like the first impression with a little more than just the first impression. And I will tell you guys that. But there are other products that as I use it, I realize, hey, I may not too like it. Or, you know, as the case may be. And I want to, I feel like I want to play with it. So that is just me going with my judge, my personal judgments. I hope you guys don't mind that some of the reviews that you have requested are taking longer than usual. Then I have this LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner in Dark Brown. This is almost finished. I actually have the one from e.l.f. in my project empties, which I should have put this because this is finishing very soon. And this is the first time this e.l.f. wet gloss and lash has been lasting me for almost a month. I, I think it may be touching a month with it already. So I'm super surprised that it's usually this lasts me like two weeks. Two weeks to months for both sides. It will be stretching it, mean that I don't use it every day. And for this, I pretty much use it every day and I've gotten more than a month with it but am I happy and not complaining um yeah so <clears throat> sorry that's it for eyes now to the category that I've of course always talk about being the most fun category for some of you might be different but you know I'm a lip junkie so let's go with a little random stuff this wet and wild 907 lipstick which is like a nice move new I think this is mauve out of here we have this and then we have this one from LA Colors. This one is Math Amethyst. I'll swatch it and that's it there. And then we have this one from Jordana called Love and the Lady. Which you know I love. This actually is my backup that I open. This one doesn't have that sweetie smell. So yeah, and I have a special video coming up with these. Specifically those three lipsticks. Then I have this one here, which is the Black Radiance Duos review. And then I have all my lip paints, um, my LA Color, LA Girl, sorry, Glaze lip paints. All six of them. This one is Koi. This one is Blushing. This one is, I think it's, um, Pin Up, Hot Mess, um, Bombshell, and Baby Doll. So all of those are there. And then lastly, you should know this was of course going to be my weekly basket. These LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencils. Now, I post on my page this. I saw a haul from someone who purchased these on the Dollar Tree. 
These were 15 TT dollars, which is like two close to 225 to 230 US dollars. However, the ones that are a dollar three for a dollar have different packaging. The packaging is white, and it's I think it looks smaller than this. However, people are thinking, hey, I'm thinking that people think may think that it's more um that one is less because it's a dollar and this one is more in terms of cost. Not so because this one says that is 2.7 grams and that one is over 3 grams. I know this says 0 0.095 ounces and that one is I think is 1.1 ounces. Yes, it's a lot. So anyhow, and the colors are different because this collection that we got um, at Wonderful Wool has at 8. But I think there's like close to 12 or 15 colors. Maybe 15 because there were like lots of notes that I didn't pick up. I have to definitely go and check on how many and do pick up um, two other colors. This one is lilac. Yes, I am wearing it on my lips, but I decided to use my LA Colors lip pencil first um, because I've tried these on their own and um, I'm now trying it with a lip pencil and then I'm going to try them on top of a lipstick. Everything so I can do a thorough review for you guys. So this one is lilac. Uh, this one is called wine. I guess I shouldn't spend so much time telling you guys because I'm sure you just will wait for the review. Deep Red. And if you saw my whole video. And then all the rest. <laughs> um, just now because I did go into all that I have in my whole video. I don't want to waste your time. But this one is the only nude. And so I will be killing those to work. But when, you do my, when I do my videos and stuff, I will definitely be using those. So that is it for this week's basket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for stopping by. Until next week for my weekly basket. Bye.